What's up kids, Peter Von Panda here. As you know, I've been on a hunt for a keyboard for my iPad mini that I can use, not only uh, to, that would be a quick release on my iPad, so when I wanna use it as a tablet, I can do that, but also uh, a good key keyboard to work as a laptop and also maybe something to travel with uh, so I can watch movies on it, et cetera, et cetera. But that hunt continues. I've just bought this uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Um, it's It has kind of this, uh, uh, abbreviated small uh, mounting uh, sleeve for the iPad on the keyboard and I thought this was actually magnetic that the the, key, the iPad would fit in there but it's not the way the iPad slips in and one of the things you can see here is it has a little bit of this kind of black felt lining um, so that you don't scratch kind of uh, microfiberish so you don't scratch up the iPad but since the iPad has this um, thin uh bezel on that side you can only you have these two little feet uh holding in the front because otherwise you'll you'll block the screen one of the issues is uh that there's no nothing that self-centers this so you've got to kind of do it on your own and then it's just that the edge of the um the mount here is really tight and so the ipad fits and stays in place by just kind of being jammed into that sucker, you know, so it won't fall out, but it, and it's, and it's fairly easy to move in and out, but as you can see, it does leave a little bit of a mark, and when it's not centered, you're going to have to kind of manually do it on your own, um, you know, it's not really perfect, but there, okay, there you go. One of the cool things is it does have a magnet in the keyboard, so when you open it, it does automatically power on. This hinge does not fold back that far this is as far back as you it'll go without breaking which as i put it here again the ipad screen is a little too vertical for me that's one problem um you you can you can deal with it it's not a, a deal breaker but you are looking down on the ipad a little bit it doesn't really go back kind of far enough to give you a, a straight on direction right now it's this is the this is a pretty normal table. This is where I would actually sit and be typing on it. And probably the center of the uh, the screen is faced directly at my kind of just below my neck, kind of on the top part of my chest in that uh, kill zone shot area, throat punch, um, uh, neck of the woods. Anyway. Uh, the keys, which are chiclet style, are actually pretty nice. This is actually one of the nicer keyboards I found. But then physically, my issues and the reason I won't probably be sticking with this, um, you know, it's a cheap, thin plastic painted silver, and it doesn't take much to tip it over. Not that it's a big deal, and I understand why they made the hinge only go that far because any further than that, and the iPad wouldn't even be able to stand up under its own weight. But really, for me, the deal breaker is the 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 switch here itself so here's the power switch on and off and there's really no way to tell if it's on or off by looking at it the way you can tell is when you switch it on the lights flash blue for a second and then they go away so it's kind of hard to remember if it's on or off but uh, that's not the problem but just like some of the other keyboards uh, it has this bluetooth connect button here and for whatever reason so it's on and you can see that it says keyboard not connected. What I actually have to do, even though I've paired it, is hit this pairing button one more time. It goes into pairing mode. And at that point, the iPad seems to find it. Um, it doesn't make you re-enter that four-digit code. But that has happened on other keyboards and I don't know if it's just as hardware but that's unacceptable when I turn on the keyboard I want it to turn on immediately and and that's one of the problems turning it off no problem uh, and then it'll automatically disconnect as expected but uh, when you turn it back on it just doesn't automatically connect that's a that's pretty that's a pretty big disappointment for me and then lastly the switches for the power button and the pairing and all that are pretty small and kind of flimsy and like I said it's pretty easy to knock this around up here and I actually prefer a little bit when that pairing button is on the top of the case here so that you're not accidentally titting it on stuff this is really kind of in a in a bad corner especially if it's in a bag or something like that so uh, you know for a $30 25 $30 case you know, I thought it actually had a lot of potential rubber feet on the bottom, uh, kind of kind of a quick release on the iPad, you know, much more quick release than some of the others, but 
all in all, it's uh, it has too many uh, quibbles to really be um, uh, kind of a full-time replacement. The other cool thing is that with this big hinge on the side, it's a little bit like those old defunct Sony uh, tablets, that the Android tablets or Windows 8 tablets or whatever they made that have kind of a nice um, edge on them. So if you put in the iPad with the screen facing up, it actually would give you kind of a nice grippy um, uh, area to hold on to. But other than that, it's uh, it's a bit of a letdown. Peter Von Panda, out.